Thanks for joining us at Pegasus Picks. We are calling it Warrior Weekend. But no, you don't have to be a warrior to get through it. Stick with us and I'll tell you what to do in the Metroplex in two minutes or less. Thursday starts May Fest. And that was canceled last year because of that pesky H1N1 virus. So this year they're looking forward to a brand new thing. They have got an all-American lumberjack show, whatever that is, um, and also a water skating exhibition. Also on Thursday night is comedy from the dork side, which is funny just saying it. Oh, you betcha, Sarah Palin is in town this weekend. On Friday, those tickets are at minimum $1,000 a table. Uh, so if that frightens you, perhaps Texas Frightmare Weekend is more up your alley. You can take your kids, dress them in bloody costumes if you like, um, and there's lots of meet and greets with famous people. That should be a lot of fun. Now here's when your Warrior Weekend starts. There is a lot to do on Saturday. I'll only tell you four big things, but there's so much more. Uh, first, Edgefest 20 is on Saturday, featuring Limp Bizkit, which is weird, and a bunch of other 2000s type bands. Uh, maybe you should go for Ishii, they are a local band that gets to play that day. Second, Urban Dare, that begins at the Gingerman in Uptown, and um, teams of two are challenged to solve all sorts of trivia questions and get around town with just their phones, cameras, and GPS. You can't use a bike or a car. And uh, we imagine that it will probably end at the Gingerman, probably with a beer. Third thing, um, there may be a game at the American Airlines Center on Saturday night if the Dallas Mavericks win game six in San Antonio. So we're hoping for that. Keep your Saturday evening open if that's the case. And finally, May 1st, Saturday is the Kentucky Derby. So you can head over to Lone Star Park and they're throwing a party there. This picture that you can see is actually of the Dallas Divas, that show that we loved to hate back in late 2009. Here they are not at the Derby, uh, they're just wearing hats. Here's a funny one for you. On Sunday, there is a free laughter yoga session at the Bathhouse Cultural Center. That is where people get together and laugh for a mind stretching and body stretching experience. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and also watch for us next week. We have a new Hispanic restaurant in town. Keep an eye out for that. We'll have that up next week. And thanks for joining us at Pegasus Picks. I will see you next time.